Hello, I am Dr. Samuel Oliver Sastre, attending psychiatrist at Montefiore Medical Center in the divisions of psychosomatic medicine and addiction psychiatry. I will be talking to you today about identifying and managing psychiatric symptoms in patients with hepatitis C. Hepatitis C infection is a public health concern that affects approximately 3 million persons in the United States. This topic is important for psychiatrists as patients are often enrolled in mental health clinics due to a high prevalence of premorbid psychopathology and substance use disorders. There are also frequent neuropsychiatric side effects due to treatment which negatively impact quality of life. The underdiagnosis and undertreatment of psychiatric disorders contribute to morbidity and mortality of hepatitis C infection. Early identification and treatment of psychiatric symptoms are critical to the proper management of these patients. The presence of risk factors, such as a history of injection drug use, guides the initial decision to screen for hepatitis C. Normal liver function test results should not preclude testing because many positively infected patients will have transaminases within the normal range. Initial screening is via detection of the antibody against the hepatitis C virus, a test which is highly specific and sensitive for past exposure. The presence of active infection is confirmed via direct viral assay. The severity of liver damage, as assessed by liver biopsy, determines whether treatment is needed. Once treatment is deemed necessary, genotyping of the hepatitis C virus determines the appropriate duration and dosage of immunotherapy. Patients with chronic hepatitis C infections have few, if any, physical symptoms. However, many have neuropsychiatric symptoms or frank disorders before the diagnosis is made or treatment initiated. Substance use and affective disorders are the most common. Many patients complain of chronic fatigue and deficiencies in attention, concentration, and memory that result in significant reductions in their quality of life. The regimen for the treatment of hepatitis C infection includes interferon alpha. Interferon has been associated with multiple psychiatric symptoms, including depression, suicidality, mania, and psychosis. The emergence of psychiatric symptoms is a common reason to discontinue or reduce treatment. Because of the high frequency of neuropsychiatric complications of treatment, there has been the unfounded opinion that patients with pre-existing affective, psychotic, or substance use disorders should be excluded from treatment. This has led to many patients being untreated. Multiple studies show that the availability of appropriate psychiatric services during treatment is more important than attempting to select lower risk patients for antiviral therapy. Psychiatric treatment should have the goals of alleviating symptoms and allowing the completion of interferon therapy without interruption. Depressive symptoms, the most common neuropsychiatric manifestation, begin early in treatment, usually within the first 12 weeks. Antidepressants are the treatment of choice for interferon-induced depression. Most currently used antidepressants are effective, and the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are considered first choice. Studies have yielded conflicting results for the effectiveness of giving antidepressants prior to initiation of interferon treatment. However, antidepressants have been shown beneficial for patients with subsyndromal depressive symptoms present prior to interferon treatment and after clinically significant depressive symptoms emerge. Electroconvulsive therapy also has been reported to effectively treat depression in patients undergoing antiviral therapy. Although antidepressants are effective for treating affective and cognitive symptoms, they are not as effective in alleviating fatigue and other neurovegetative symptoms. Psychostimulants have been studied for treating depressive symptoms in medically ill patients and can be used to treat interferon-induced fatigue. Interferon treatment has also been associated with mania and psychosis. The incidence, pathophysiology, and management of these treatment emergent symptoms are not as well studied, however. Treatment consists of decreasing or stopping immunotherapy and adding mood stabilizers and antipsychotics. Once immunotherapy is discontinued, mania and psychosis usually resolve. For more information on this important topic, please check out the article entitled Treating Psychiatric Disorders in Patients with Hepatitis C in the April 2013 issue of Current Psychiatry. Thank you.